Hello from Gardening at Duensa here in Ireland and I'm here again with Dino and what are we going to make a video about today Dino? Yes, yeah, so we're going to be deciding on what we're going to be repotting out of Oncidium, Phalaenopsis and Cyclia and other miscellaneous orchids. And just to remind you all that Dino has his own channel now called the Ministry of Botany which you really have to check out and subscribe to and we're linking to that up above so that's what you have to do right now and Dino also has a travel company. Tell us about that, Dino. Yes, so I have a travel company called Real Escape Travel. And among other things, I specialize in orchid tours and also botanical tours more generally. Um, at the moment in the Balkans and Myanmar, otherwise known as Burma. So if you would like um, an orchid tour or tour of other plants to see some of these beauties in the wild, please get in touch. Okay, and we're linking to Dino's website for that company in the details of this video. Okay, so let's get on with the deciding on what to repot. Okay, so we now have the oncidiums that are to be discussed as to whether or not they need repotting and we're going to start over here, isn't that right Dino? That's right, yes. This Odontoglossum one, which I know Dino loves, he grows a lot of them. Um, but he is slightly concerned about this one as to whether it's been grown too warm because Odontoglossums need cooler temperatures. Um, also, this may be spider mite on the plant. So. Yeah, there's some sort of problem with it. Um, and the groves, they reach the edge of the pot, so I'm tempted to say just one pot size up and to give these a little bit more room. Okay, super yeah. duper. Right, here's another one that definitely needs a repot, right? Yeah. Well, I'm, I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not sure actually. <laughs> that one. Yeah, we. <laughs> that one's grass. Yeah. But, yeah. This one is climbing out. But, but, yeah, yeah so, so it's pretty obvious. And because it's climbed right out, the new lead is getting smaller because it can't, the roots can't access the moisture. So this definitely needs repotting. Yeah. 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 And something <laughs> long and thin, I imagine. Yes. Because it's actually. Definitely, yes. And here's a good example of what Dino was talking about earlier where a back old pseudobulb has been buried and yet isn't rotting. Yeah. So we will continue to do that. Exactly, it yes. <laughs> okay, so. Okay, here we have a sturbic, also a Dantoglossum. Recently flowered mm -hmm. um, and not yet, sorry Dino, yeah. not yet in regrowth. No. S yeah. So we leave this one? Yeah, I think possibly we, we put it actually because it's reached the edge and they tend to produce roots from the mature bulb. Okay. So yes, yeah, so, so perhaps do this one. I All think. right, yeah. okay. Sounds like a good plan. Mm -hmm. So moving over here and this was interesting. Uh, Dino's uh, synopsis of this one. Now I bought this recently a few months mm. ago in flower, never repotted, so it's in the original medium mm. and it's obviously loose yeah. in, in the pot. Yeah. I mean with, with loose orchids like, like this you can see how much it's wobbling, that usually indicates a root problem. So my first gut reaction was don't repot this, but then I thought well you know we, we need to take it out to see what's happening with those roots because something could have rotted um, in the compost which is rotting off all the roots and in which case you need some urgent attention so we'll take it out and we'll see but the we'll first do. reaction was to leave it just to let it establish yes exactly that, yes yeah which is um, which mm. is interesting that's, yeah, yeah. Oh. okay so that's that one that's great and here we have a plant that came from our mutual friend Archie yes, originally yes, yes. <laughs> hi Archie <laughs> hello Archie <laughs> and um, it came without roots we think it's got Miltoniopsis in the parentage it was a no ID I put it in pure sphagnum and what did you say just leave it for a bit longer yeah, yeah, yeah I would leave it simply because it's had absolutely no roots um, and with orchids with no roots Rachel's done the right thing by putting it in, into the smallest pot possible which is what you're supposed to do and it's got some new roots now, but because I don't think the root system is very extensive, so I'm tempted to just say leave it for one more season. There's new roots just emerging here. Um, and then when it's got a much more extensive root system, which will be hopefully by the end of the year, then you can repot. Okay, yeah. super. And the last one we have in the Oncidium slash Odontoglossum Alliance yeah. is uh, my Sherry Baby, which I... Oh, got given in a swap some time ago. Oh, did you? I did, yes. <laughs> Very nice. Yes. And this is the new growth. Yeah, not nice and fat one. Yeah. And uh, this is a repot. Yes, yes. I, I, I would say so, yes. Yeah. yeah, I can see, see there's a little root just poking out. Okay. So now is the perfect time because same with the cattle. If you snap these at the tips, they often just abort completely. So 
Okay. Yeah, so if, if you're going to do it, do it now, basically. All right. Yeah. Okay. Brilliant. Okay. Let's see yeah. what else we have besides the old videos. Right. Next up, we have encyclias or prostechias, and I only have three that we have to debate whether or not to repot or not. Nice. So I guess we'll start with this one over here, which I'm quite proud of because we have big. Yes, it's a nice, big and fat. Yes. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's kind of gone down in the middle there. I mean, I said to Dino first that it looks like there might be a natural division that could be made here in the plant. And then you had a much better idea. Yes. Didn't you? I mean, um, one tip I, I like to give to people if they're not sure what to do in situations like this is you can divide them and then we'll probably get rid of some of these bulbs here and because they're not going to do anything. And then we'll put them back in the same pot. So it's, um, it's basically two divisions by in the same pot. and kind of um, put them, bunch them in the middle to um, get, a, get a much nicer, how would you call it, kind of um, a growth yeah. pattern, yeah. No. Basically, yeah. The only thing is, I wouldn't repot this now personally because the new roots have come down a long time before and it's going to be very, very difficult to now repot this without breaking all these roots, in which case they're all aboard, so you're going to get a lot of trouble if you do that, so. All right. I, I would recommend leaving it here because you can see just how long they've got. Yeah. Yeah, so. Okay. Yeah, yeah, leave it for now, but it does need attention, you know, as soon as it's ready again. Okay. Yeah. Another one that needs attention is this one where we've got yeah. a kind of rotting back suitable yeah. and the front new growth, which is getting progressively smaller yes. and smaller, yeah. which we all know is not a good sign. Yes, <laughs> yeah, so there's, there's some sort of cultural problem, which um, we can't tell what it is for now, but we're going to try and find out. Um, but anyway, the first thing to do is to get rid of this big rotten bulb because rotting things on orchids can spread and to, to all the other healthy plants and this just needs a reposition really so when, when we get to repotting it we'll just move this entire thing back to this edge so the new growth has much more room um we can probably i mean the, the roots have already set so probably wait until it starts to grow again okay yeah but, yeah, but it does need attention certainly and then we have cochleata um, which i grew from a tiny seedling yeah. and, and you've done very well with it it is. I mean, if we yeah. turn around here just to show the uh, first suitable, <laughs> yeah. the size of it compared to the ones we now have, which are really quite large. Mm. So it's doing well, yeah. but it yeah. needs a repot, doesn't it? It, yeah, it certainly does. Um, and again, I can't tell. Yeah, the roots have already set, so although it needs a repot, um, yeah, I think we will repot it because the new growth is coming up here and it's going to jam and probably rot if, if nothing is done. So even though it's, it's not really the ideal time because there's no new roots growing, we will repot anyway. We will repot yeah. And I have one of these Greek uh, orchid pots that I featured earlier in a video. Um, one of them is going to be used for the Cattleya mossiae, which we talked about when we were yes, talking yeah. about the, the Cattleyas. And I think I'm going to use this one here for the... Um, Prostechia, yeah, Prostechia yeah. yeah, yeah, now, but yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and now we have the Phalaenopsis that we deem to need repotting, yeah. or potentially. And I suppose if we start with this one first, which Dino pointed out to me, was leaning dangerously from the yes. top. And what did you say we should do with yeah. this now? Yeah, so with this one, um, basically it's kind of leaning out so if it's left for too much longer it can actually tip out completely and the new roots they will become aerial they're not accessing the, the compost so what we can do we can either keep um, the same pot and just reposition it and put in a new media uh, but what, what I think it might be even better is to get a slightly larger pot if possible because it'll, it'll help with the balance because it's, it's, it's a bit big for this pot now really the size of these leaves but, but it needs repotting basically yeah. It's yeah. a nice little mini yellow one, so I do hope it can come back again. Yeah. And then this one, which was bought recently in the summer, and I did an unboxing video where, um, where this one came out. But what we see here is that the medium is breaking down. Yes. Okay, so it's retaining moisture for longer, really, than it should. As you can see, this was watered uh, four days ago, and it really is... I mean, there's, there's moss and all kinds of everything in there. Mm. But this is a couple of seedlings in the pot. And I think, what did you recommend, Dino? Yeah, I mean, personally, if it were me, I would, I mean, these can be separated if you really want to, but I would personally put them in the same um, bigger pot because then you get, you know, more flowers, more flower spikes, more leaves, something more impressive, really. 
And bigger pots tend to be easier to look after than lots of little pots, but it's up to you, Rachel. I'm you all for do? that. Yeah. More aggressive <laughs> works for me. Yeah. <laughs> and then finally, the uh, plant I got from Danny from Miss Orchid Girl in the Swap, yeah. the Sweet Memory Leodora, which is badly potted, really. I mean, this is too big. Yeah, and, and it's too dry as well, yes, yeah. yeah. I mean, and it doesn't have many roots, um, so on that basis, I'd recommend keeping the same size pot, well, this, this same pot, really, and just replacing the media and just sinking it in a little bit. Yeah. So the roots can act, because there's some roots coming out, but they're, again, they're not accessing the media, so yeah. it just needs some repositioning, really. I think the problem with this one before was it had one very, very long root, yeah. and I tried to fold it around to get it in the pot, yeah. and I couldn't bend it enough. Yeah. So I think maybe if I soaked it overnight in water maybe, or something yes, to make yes, it we'll just try a that. bit more yeah. then it might work better. Mm. Okay, yeah. so that's the end of the phalaenopsis. Okay, so finally, and this is really finally, we've come down to the bits and bobs table, the ones that um, don't fit into any category, because I don't have very many of them. <laughs> and first up we have my dendrobium, the Latoria dendrobium Lutin Blanc, which you will all remember flowered and flowered and flowered and has done really well in a small pot, but it has gone past a joke now at this stage. And as you can see, the pot is very small and the roots are, well, they're kind of flying at this stage. So this is one that needs a repot now. I think there's also a shriveled pseudobulb bit here at the side, which has perhaps happened because it's been squished up against the edge of yeah. the, the pot. Okay. So. Yeah, yeah but, but one thing I'd like to say is these endrobiums, they do tend to like very small pots in proportion to a plant. Whereas Rachel says this is now just too small, it has to come out. I mean, even the label can't come out because it's so jammed in there. So yes, yeah, so we may well have to break up this pot with a hammer or something to get it out. All right, yeah. we'll do so that. that one. And next we have a brassada, which has lost its label. It was a seedling originally and it has been in this pot for like ever, I think maybe six years or something. Yeah, a long time. So, yeah, I yeah. think, I mean, that's the last, oh, yes. there's a new growth yes. there. I mean, saying that it has done really well, because you can see it's got bigger and bigger and bigger, but now it's climbing out, so, and where it's producing the roots, they're no longer accessing the moisture um, in the media, so that's an issue. So maybe just one size bigger, I think, um, for the pot, and just sink it in and half bury these old growths, and it'll, yeah, they'll sort it out quite easily. And now for the other jokes. Uh, we have <laughs> my Promenia, yeah, yeah. <laughs> which is not doing very well at the moment. This came from Danny as well in a swap, and I have it potted in pure sphagnum, which is probably not the best idea. Yeah. Losing leaves, um, lots of spotting on the leaves, and we do have a new growth in here at the front. Yeah, which was just nicely jammed on nicely the rim. Jammed, <laughs> <yes>. <laughs> So a repot for this one? Yes, definitely, I think so. And not in pure sphagnum. Yes, yeah, I think put some little bit of bark and perlite in there to get you know, more, more open conditions. But with these promeneers, they tend to like lots of air circulation. Um, and that's probably why this new growth is getting all this spotting, because there's not enough air circulation. So a, a bit of a more airy position as well, if possible, I think. Okay. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Um, and this, I'm kind of ashamed to show anybody this. Can we look at the base of the pot? Oh, no, I suppose I have to Yeah, we'll up. have to. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, this is Selogeny cristata, mm -hmm. my second Selogeny cristata. And it had been out in the greenhouse, but it started to rot yeah. by virtue of the fact that I had it potted in mm -hmm. pure sphagnum, which was being kept too moist. Yeah. It's now pretty leafless. Yeah, I mean, I think it's both leafless and rootless, actually. <laughs> Unfortunately, I mean, but with these, they need cool winters, but with as much light as possible, or you're not going to get the flowers. Uh, so what we're going to do, we're going to repot this, but into an aquatic basket like this. Um, aquatic baskets work really well with Selogeny cristata, because the, the plants will grow bigger, and then they'll just um, go over the sides. And then, because the roots are fine enough to go between the holes, you'll get like a nice big ball of plant quite quickly. I know it looks really bad now, but with some repotting and tender loving care. It will bounce back very quickly, I promise you. The only thing is, um, these hate repotting, they hate root trimming, so we'll have to be very, very careful because if we're too um, brash and snap too many roots, that's going to set it back yet again, so... But I don't think yeah. it has too many roots because it came to me rootless, oh, and yes. that's why I potted in yes. sphagnum originally, yeah. so... Yeah. 
anyway, we'll see what's happening yes. when we... Yes, and we'll put more bark and perlite into the mix because pure sphagnum, it tends to compact and hold too much water, which, okay. as you found out. <laughs> All right, yeah. so that's our synopsis on all of the orchids and what you're next going to see is some clips of us actually repotting these orchids but not in an immense amount of detail. Yeah. Referring you once again to my repotting Cattleya video which um, is linked to up above and also the repotting on Cydium video yes. which I made with Dino just yesterday although God knows when you've actually seen this but anyway link to that <laughs> up above it's extensive yeah. And you'll get all the detailed information that you want further. So um, we're going to say goodbye for now for the speeded up repotting. Stay tuned. Yes.